The gang's all here. All four of them. Four. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, everybody? TFGF wanted to say hi for a little bit. Hi, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how are we doing? Happy Saturday, everybody. We made it through the week. We made it through the month. It's already freaking March. This month just flew by. It's still February, but... We, well, yeah. Did I say we made it through March? No, you said it's March. No, oh, no. I didn't know. Almost. Lie. They want Teddy. Can you hold Teddy up? Mm-hmm. This is a creepy view of Teddy. Yeah, oh. drop him down a little bit. Teddy, don't type anything on the keyboard. Guys, tomorrow is is Teddy's birthday. Teddy emotes in the chat for, for Teddy's birthday. You're just flashing the camera. Oh my God. <laughs> Sorry for the. He's like, mom, comment. you're embarrassing me. <laughs> Teddy's turning five tomorrow though. He's an old man. Not as old as mm. us, but. Ah, espresso consumed. Cuddle me dog says your bangles suck. Do you have I any, see that. Do you have any rebuttal? I mean, like they're not as bad as they were. But like Joe Burrow though. Are you saying he sucks? No, I'm saying they're not going to suck because they have exactly. Joe Burrow. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. Who's better, Joe Burrow or Justin Herbert? What what um what what side of the argument do you stand on? I say Joe Burrow, but there's not a lot of tape to qualify that. What if they didn't play that much? That's very accurate. What if Justin Herbert fixed his acne? Who would be better? Ew. That's a <laughs> weird question. <laughs> <laughs> gotta, gotta look good to play good. He's not Trevor Lawrence, so anyone's better than. Sorry, Trevor Lawrence. I just I can't do that hair. Well, he's gonna be your number one pick in fantasy, so I you know. better get used to I it. I know I need to get used to it. All right, we are going to be, per usual, rebuilding our Texans. This is actually going to be the finale. I'm gonna finish the season on this stream, so I have to mm. what? I have to what? Eight o'clock. A little before, 7.30. Are you going to shower before we go out? No, I showered before we went. I guess be up till 8 o'clock. Right, I'm going to go till like 7.15. We can get through the season in two hours. So we just won the Super Bowl against the Vikings. And let's do this thing. Brandon thinks you just roasted Trevor Lawrence. Look, I don't like I don't like the hair. No, either. I really like Trevor Lawrence as a person and as a player. I just can't do the hair, Brandon. I before Trevor Lawrence was like a consensus number one guy. I honestly selfishly hoped he wasn't gonna make it because I don't like his hair. That's a really poor reason not to hope someone. Yeah, makes but it. he looks dumb. He can cut it. Quiplash stream when? Definitely soon. Yeah, Definitely we should do soon. that soon. We haven't yeah. done that in a long time. Wouldn't rule it out like tomorrow night. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. We'll see. No commitments at the moment. But definitely soon. All right, we got a few upgrades. We can do this while, while we talk. What do you think about Dimitric? Sorry if that's wrong. Felton to the Seahawks. Are you asking me what my thoughts on Dimitri Felton? To were the you Seahawks. here? Were you here when I scolded the chat for asking me about thoughts? Mm, Not no. T H O T S either. I'll explain that one to you later. Um, I I told people to stop asking me to just randomly say thoughts on this guy, thoughts on that guy, because mm. I was like I need more pointed questions. So I scolded the chat. I yelled at Panda specifically. Mm. Right, Panda. This guy um, is that is a very unflattering avatar for him. His face? No, the rest of him. Well, he's a big dude. Yeah, but what's his name? Who's? Flor Floronzo. <laughs> Floronzo. Fatuski. 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 <laughs> what is his name? Floronzo Fatuski. Ah, yeah, that's yeah. what I meant to say. Um, but my thoughts on Dimitri <laughs> Felton are he is super smooth as a receiver, and I don't have 
Thoughts on my fiance. I think she's <laughs> just just the best. Number one thing. Oh, you gotta show him the ring. Show him the ring. Should I take it off? Sure. How close do I have to get? Don't let that anywhere in your Teddy's mouth. I don't um, think I can hold see it. it. it might do I have to do like one of those like YouTube moments? Oh. I don't think uh, they can see try, it. Can you hold it like up? Can you hold what? it up while like that? No, like standing up. Stand what do you mean standing like, up? You're holding it horizontally. Hold it like, like that? Yeah. There you go. I don't think they can see it. So yeah, it's I not going to like super blurry. But that's the ring. It's real, guys. Like I said, we got the lead in the fourth quarter. Just <laughs> can't blow it. But yeah, I like. Uh, I like. Demetric Felton. I wonder if he's. I think he's probably just gonna play slot receiver because I don't think he offers a ton as a running back. Thoughts on Manti Teo? That's where my Patreon money went. That's right. That is exactly where your Patreon money went. <laughs> <laughs> All right, just ripping through these upgrades. This offseason should be pretty smooth coasting. We did not really have any big players hit free agency. We. Um, Need to extend the D-back of the year in, uh, what's his name, our slot corner. Uh, the guy from Dallas that we signed. But, uh, They're saying sound is choppy. choppy. That's a bummer. Is it, uh, the game sound is choppy? I didn't restart my computer before I streamed, so that could be doing it. Thoughts on my shirt? I love my shirt. Or is the uh, is the audio choppy? Like our uh, like our voice is that choppy too? Next team I'm gonna rebuild is probably gonna be the Chargers or the Jets. Uh, Peter Kirkpatrick. Get his power up. We've been waiting to do the Chargers for a while. My predictions yeah, on this <laughs> Deshaun Watson. Let's hear it. I don't have a lot of predictions. Where does he end up? Not where he is right now. Hey. But I don't know where he goes. Yeah, can you um, block that person? Yes. I don't know. Here, I can block him. Oh, I got him. I'll put him in timeout for... No, block him. But All right. That was like his third one. All right, you're done. You're done, Xenu. Do I think Daniel Jones is good looking? I don't know. Let's see. Daniel Jones? He's like a young Eli Manning. He. I don't think you think he's good I looking. I think Peyton Manning's really good looking, so maybe... We, we've been over. Eli like, Manning is... You don't... Oh, think... Daniel Jones. He's cute. Kind of. Who is, other than Andy Dalton, who's the best looking quarterback? Is it Baker? Mm, Baker is good looking, yeah. I, I don't think, like a lot of quarterbacks, though. Well, you like Teddy, Bridgewater. Jacoby Brissett. You like Brissett and Bridgewater. But he's right? not starting. Uh, I don't know what Teddy looks like. I have to look. Bridgewater's, like, cute. He's got, like, kind of a... Like a, auto corrected to the Daddy Bridgewater. Daddy Bridgewater. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Jimmy G. I mean, that's you don't you actually aren't a big Jimmy G aesthetic, like, which is weird because he is a Greek god. He's fine. Teddy's like cute with a hat on. That's about it for course. I said Baker, though. knowing everyone thinks. Yeah, that'd be a win for me if you said Baker. Looks like this. <laughs> Dwayne Johnson, not The Rock Jr. I like that we're able to just have something to entertain us while we get through all these upgrades. This is always like the most boring part. Am I going to do early predictions like I did before free agency last year? I'm not going to do predictions per se um, because that just puts me in a tough spot because I have no idea what these teams think of these guys, but... I am going to do a team needs video, and that's going to be out, um, man, Jair can't even do the slot upgrade anymore. He's already a 99, but I'm going to do the top three needs for our, every team, and then 
that's where I think teams should spend their money, basically. Panda, yes, Matt Nagy is v cute. And so is Marcus. I'm not allowed to uh, criticize Matt Nagy. I get yelled at. Yelled at. Mm-hmm. Man, we got a lot of upgrades. A follow coming in from Fat Man 101 is real. Quite the name. Lance gets another upgrade. So remember, guys, Lance won MVP last year. So MVP and a Super Bowl goes up to Superstar Dev. <laughs> <laughs> You're tripping. I like bald men. What can I say? What about guys with a mullet? Chat wants me to get a mullet. No, we've already said no to the Marcus mullet. I have too, but they just or won't. mullet Marcus. They just won't stop. They they're not dropping it. No. Kyle Shanahan or Matt Nagy? Oh, absolutely Matt Nagy. That's a hot take. That's probably But Kyle Shanahan is very good looking. That's too. probably the hottest take that's ever come out of a <laughs> TFG stream. <laughs> Who's, who's this month for us? Oh, it's Reich. Oh, it's Frank, Frank Reich. Reich. Frank Reich is quite the showstopper. The showstopper. Who's coming up next? Who's March? Oh, Mike Vrabel. Oh, it's Mike Vrabel month, huh? Can't get enough of Mike Vrabel. Vrabel's just like a... What are your thoughts on overtime rules? My thoughts are, I wish overtime rules didn't exist because I hate hearing Marcus rant about it every time. <laughs> oh, man. Not wrong. Dan Campbell? I don't know who Dan, Dan Campbell is. He's the is. Lions coach. Ooh. That's He's, like... He could make your list. All right, guys. It is time for renegotiations. Jordan Lewis is who we need to pay. And I was going to do a, um, a couple of player reviews because we had some guys have really awesome seasons so we need to do a player review for bud dupree oh that's when he played that's when he played, that's when he played. That make my list? that's when he played look him up now. oh my god what are you talking Still about not, now he's now that's like that's him now he's a cute dad Ooh, bud dupree so after winning i think he went back to back defensive player of the uh, of the year awards um, he won best D lineman last year, back to back best D lineman. He won deep depoy this year, so he gets run stuffer. We are gonna change that to um, I think unstoppable force, or actually we're gonna go fearmonger, and then under pressure, and then I'm gonna boost him to like an 88 to keep this balanced but also realistic because he has been an incredible signing for us so i'm gonna boost him up a little bit i am growing a mullet right i don't think i have permission chat i'll let you do a lot of things but not that one <laughs> <laughs> What about a 12-hour stream one of these days? Who's the GOAT? I mean, Andy Dalton, obviously, Obvi. number one. But Obvi. people are asking me between Brady and Rodgers. I can't stand Tom Brady. Has nothing to do about his football ability, though. And I'm not a Packers fan, so I'm not particularly a fan of Rodgers either. But I know TFG, yeah. nope. I know TFG would be really mad if I said Brady was better, so we're just going to go with Aaron Rodgers. Teddy could get a mullet. I'd be fine with you, Teddy getting a mullet. You almost got cut off of that Patreon money if uh, you answered the wrong question there. Oh, why? Because you... <laughs> what do you call it? Pow on the table for Aaron Rodgers being the GOAT. I'd just say he's the best quarterback of all time. Mm. I don't actually... I don't think I've ever said on the record that I think Rodgers is the GOAT. I just think he's a better quarterback than Tom I'm Brady. sure there's some record that I'm sure that. it's out there. All right, so Bud Dupree has been upgraded. And then we're going to do Jordan Lewis, who we need to re-sign. But he balled out. He's like the best slot corner 
And he doesn't need to go up too much here, but I think, you know, awareness, maybe a catching. <laughs> Would you break off the engagement if I said Brady was better? That's what the chat. 100%. It's fine. There's plenty of football analysis. 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 <laughs> analysis. Analyzers. There's plenty of football the analyzers, <laughs> chat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why don't you go find another analyzer? I'll find another football analyzer. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your favorite football team? Well, if you're talking to me, I, I love this, like, programmed, like, answer for the who's your favorite football teams. Oh, wow. Is that new? Oh, I had that from the beginning because that's a common question. That's so cheesy. Thank you for asking. You should change. You that. should read that out loud. Okay. Thank and then you I for can... asking. Considering I watch every game all thirty-two teams play, I tend to like aspects of pretty much every okay. team. I just got an idea. Instead of doing the text, I'm gonna have you record it, and I'm gonna make it a sound. Oh my bite. god! Yes, <laughs> yes. That will be that'll be gold. No one wants to hear my voice more yes, than they, they do. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. That would be only we're doing you that. do. We're doing that. We're not doing that. We're doing it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the new sound bites. Yes. So we got we got some good ones. We got a good office one here. I gotta turn it up just a little bit so you can actually hear them. No, God. Classic. No, God, please, no, 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 no! <laughs> uh, we added for like when people come in. I got a little SpongeBob. Like, I thought it'd be a good like. Brandon's in the house. Like, yo. Oh. You don't even like SpongeBob. No, what do you mean I don't like SpongeBob? I got uh, this one. I. I I'm hoping it doesn't copyright me, but... Mm, I thought it was Star Wars. Yeah, so that one's epic. And then this one's great, and it's very fitting for... We're about to extend Jordan Lewis. So I got the, uh, the Cam... Uh, my ears, yeah, that one might be a little loud. Um, I got the Cam Newton, I'm rich. I'm rich. We're about to be poor. I'm rich. We're about to be poor. I'm rich. You're free agent. I'm rich. So we're gonna give Jordan Lewis a nice deal here. I'm actually gonna give him about 12.2 a year. That's really good for a slot corner. So he's gonna stick around, you love that. And then other than him, Sharpen's up. Thanks for the follow, STG. Other than him, I think we're gonna let everyone go. Cause we've got a pretty full roster here, so. We're, we're kind of bringing the bringing the gang back together for another Super Bowl run. Trade my first for Andy Dalton. I, well, Andy Dalton's probably probably retired. At I this was gonna point. say he's not in this. This is four years down the road. He gone. R.I.P. Yeah. The legend is gone. And then the other sound bite, I did it, I got the sports center. Mission failed. We'll get him next time. That's from Call of Duty. Oh, this one's good. Cover your ears, kids. EA Sports. Go fuck yourself. Oh my god. <laughs> Jeez. Do they even say that anymore? Because that used to be like a big thing on yeah. like. Yeah, they still do it. Madden Nintendo 64. The go fuck yourself part? No. Oh, I forgot I added this one. Tell me if you you know who this is. I have no idea who that is. <laughs> That's the that's Tony Romo when he's like watching a replay and he's like if like the foot's like on the line or oh, the, like he bobbled totally the catch he's like Ooh, I love it great so oh, yo, that sounds like ah, me watching a football game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh that one's I forgot I added that one and then this one's a thirty seven second sound bite. Oh do not that's Dog, too long. He put the team on his back. Dog let's People go inside the mind of but a But that one goes like Jenny's. the whole clip. 
That's the Greg Jennings one. Um, so yeah, Andy Dalton's out of the league, unfortunate. Lee? Someone wants to know, do you think Andy Dalton will be a starter again? Um, I think there's like four quarterbacks between like Brissett, uh, Brissett who you also like, mm -hmm. Dalton, Cam, um, like those kind of middling quarterbacks. I think that like two of those guys will get starting jobs. And I don't know if Dalton will be one of those guys or not. I really hope Brissett goes to the Bears. I hope Andy Dolan goes to the Bears, but I don't think that's likely. I think either of them could very well. I just really like Brissett. Go there. All right. Um, I want to just take a peek at our roster and just see kind of what we need to bring in. We need a kind of a bruising back. We've got our fullback. Could probably add another receiver this offseason for depth. Tight end room's good. We did lose Sharping, so we could start Trey Smith and Beckham or upgrade at guard. Either way is an option there. Brandon, I know Jacoby isn't that good, but considering the Bears, do we ever have a quarterback I think that that's good? I think he's better. I think he's better than Foles. Um, D tackle. I really like how Eubanks played in the playoffs, but we obviously need to add one piece for depth there. And then the linebacking room is good. We got some good linebackers on this team. Ooh, Foyce had a Luakun went up to X Factor. It's our last season. We'll leave it. Why not? He gets shut down, so we'll leave that just for fun. Jair Alexander's got. You know what I'm gonna do? Just for fun, because I've never actually had this, we are going to give him selfless. What does that mean? When he gets in the zone, um, everyone, all the other X-Factors on your defense also enter the zone. So when you're an X-Factor, like, you have to do a certain thing, like get an interception or a sack, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. then it'll activate the ability. Mm -hmm. Got it. Um, but it's really hard to have like everyone active. So if he, if his selfless activates, then everyone on your defense activates. Hmm. So yeah, pretty, pretty cool. Hi, Jack. Jack. Uh, but yeah, our needs kind of de-tackle, a guard and a running back depth. We don't have a lot of holes. I mean, this team, obviously we just won the Super Bowl. We're pretty dang set. Jack goes, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Antonio Gibson would be a pretty sweet backup. We do, um, Daryl Henderson's there too. He was really good in relief. I think, you know, let's just bring Henderson back. He was pretty sweet. So let's just give him a little deal here. Oh, hi. Who's my favorite QB besides Rodgers? Um, I have a, I like a lot of QBs. Burrow is up there. Kyler's up there. I think Zach Wilson's going to be up there. All right, I'm going to go QB training boost, O-line training boost, linebacker DB, basically all the training boosts. All right, back to this. We got an offer. He actually doesn't hate that offer. I was going to see if that... Uh, is this the fullback we had that we lost that had star dev? I can't remember if it was him or someone else, but we got our fullback. We're good. I'm going to wait on receiver. Andrew Thomas is available. Sharping is the top guard, but he's actually not really an upgrade for us. Cesar Ruiz is tempting. But I think I'm good with Beckham and Trey Smith, honestly. So I think we're good there. 
And then defense. Bullock got the breakout last year, but we could certainly use a number two. I mean, Cam Jordan, he also has X Factor. That's, I mean, that would kind of set, pun intended, set us over the edge, I think. We got the money for it. Why not? I mean, he's 35. Only wants a one-year deal. Let's give him... Let's just give him $20 million for a year. Sign Laquan Treadwell. You are obsessed with Laquan, my man. Who's that? He's a remarkably below average receiver for the Falcons. Well. Um, Blacklock is not getting any bids. I'm going to just bring him back on a one-year deal for... Uh, depth piece there. And then we got... We're good at linebacker. And... Corner, we're also good. So I think I'm going to leave it there. We're in pretty good shape. Save some... Uh, Jack says to sign Cordell. Sign Cordell. I don't even know if he's... I always say that wrong. I always say Cordell. Even after he was in the game of... Mr. Fishbowl, Patterson? I can't even search for him because because of, you know... EA Sports. Go fuck yourself. That. What? There's children. Yeah, I swear in front of the children all the time. <laughs> My day's been great. We went to the mall earlier to look for TFG's new office setup. And then I ended up buying things and I TFG am, did not. I got nothing out of the deal, but... You got Everything stuff. was out of stock that you wanted. That's true. That is true. Um, get Could get a little Jordan Humphrey. We didn't go to the Mall of America today. We went to a, a regular mall, which I've never been to before. A regular? You've never been to a regular mall no, before? No, not in Minnesota. Well, obviously in other states, but since I've moved to Minnesota, I've only been to the Mall of America. Hmm. Interesting. I didn't know that. We don't ever go to the mall. I guess. You're right. I'm going to hold off on receiver for now. Honestly, I think that's a pretty good... That's a pretty good... Uh, free agent class for us. Uh, no, we did not go to Ray Rosedale, Jack. Sorry sorry to not support your uh, your hometown. What did we go to? Richdale? Ridgedale. Ridgedale. Richdale. Southdale? I haven't heard of half of these malls. I know, I say Minnesota like a Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> still like to get Henderson back, but he's being a little stubborn. Let's go like that. Hopefully it takes that deal. What are my thoughts on Reese's Puffs? Reese's Puffs are elite, but it's not a real breakfast. Man, Henderson said no thank you. The Mall of America roller coasters. I think I rode them once. We came to Minnesota once when I was like five. I don't know why we came to Minnesota. I don't know why anyone would come here <laughs> willingly, but I think I rolled them. Have you ever rolled them? Yeah, they're fine. The their non roller coaster rides are much better. They have like, well, they used to have like this ghost shooting adventure ride where mm -hmm. you like rode on a cart and like shot ghosts. Yeah. But I don't know what it is now for like Nickelodeon Universe or whatever. Thoughts on Reese's Pieces? Reese's Pieces are also an excellent candy bar, or candy option, I suppose. Julian, I grew up in Chicago, so we went to Great America, which is Six Flags all the time, so I don't know too much about the roller coasters at Mall of America. What was he asking about him? He said that's the reason he knows Mall of America. Oh, because they have roller coasters? Mm hmm That they do. All right, I'm not seeing any any of these receivers that really stand out to me. So, uh... Brandon, have you been to Six Flags? I'm sure you've been to Six Flags. 
That's right by TFGF's house. That is right by my house. I'm going to give Denzel Mims a one-year deal. Another member of TFGF's dynasty team. Who? Denzel Mims. I don't think he's on my dynasty league. He is. Oh, well, I don't play him. No, you don't. He'll be better in the future. <laughs> I think that's probably one of the people you told me to get, or you made me get, and then I didn't use them. Hey, we got our boys. Draft day, baby. How's that audio, guys? I know someone was saying it, it was bad earlier. Might have just been one person's internet or something. Also, I can't get behind Arby's. You like Arby's. Um, Arby's is okay. I like the occasional roast beef dip from them. Jack, you want Mims? Who are you going to give me? <laughs> Mims is going to be good when he he's going to have a quarterback next year. Who is Jack's going to have a quarterback? No, Mims is going to oh, the Jets, oh, oh, the Jets oh, got it. Teddy is just all right, we are all the way at the end of the first round, so I probably am not going to trade up. Although we don't really have a lot of needs, so like, could we get Ray Ayers? Rayers? Let's see this O line class. Center is somewhere we could also upgrade with Nick Martin there getting up in age. I would love to get Ray Ayers. People think you should get a TikTok. Yeah, people keep saying that. I think we're too old for a TikTok. I'm just maxed out. I can't add any responsibilities to my life. This guy looks like a stud, Kurt Bonner. <laughs> huh? That last name. Bonner. You are a boy, that's for sure. I, mean, I did everyone not think was twice thinking about everyone that. Everyone here was thinking it. Did not think yeah, twice sure about it. Well, he's a good backup plan. I would love to get that guard, though. Who's that right tackle? Oh, yeah, we got Tevin Jenkins, so we don't need a tackle. I think I'm going to... I don't know. We just don't have any needs. That's the thing. I'm gonna make a move up for that guard. If he's there at like 12. Jeez, guard went first overall and he wasn't even that good. Teach us some Minnesota slang. Oh, I'm not the one to ask. What's Minnesota slang? They say holy buckets a lot, like oh my god. They say holy buckets, which is weird. What else? Um, what else is Minnesota slang? They say milk. That's not slang, that's just mispronounced. Oh. Um, Holy Buckets is the Holy only one buckets I can think is of. a good one. I mean, all the, like, passive-aggressive, like, if you, I don't know, I guess a lot of people probably say if you don't mind, but that's probably mm. more common up here than, yeah. in, like, New York, for example. For fun? For fun. What is oh, that? for fun. Yeah, people say, oh, for fun. It's, I've never heard you gotta go. You that. gotta go further north than where we live. Like I mean, to hear Canada. That, but... Canada says, "Oh, for cute." What that? I've never heard of. Oh, oh, for fun is uh, definitely. All right, I'm gonna try to make a move for uh, this pick here. Yeah. Oops. Sorry. I feel like that's oh, just like a Midwest. Yeah. Thing, though, oh. Not specifically Minnesota. But yeah, you do got to say pop. That's that's essential. You betcha. That's another one. People say that a lot. Let's see. Would this be enough to get this pick? Oh. Panda right. really wants to know what you think about Washington State. Thoughts on Washington State? Uh, their team mascot is, I think, the Cougars. <laughs> Those are my <laughs> current thoughts on Washington State. <laughs> All right, hopefully this guard's good, guys. We're grabbing Ray Ayers out of Michigan. Oh, don't you know? That's more Canadian, I feel oh, like. Oh, man. Jazza, good. where are you from in Canada? 
I'm 11 years older than you. Thoughts? That makes me feel very old. Well, I was hoping that guy was going to have a hidden death, but he didn't. So we got to go all the way to the 32nd pick now, but it is what it is. All right. Ooh, a first round receiver. Doesn't look too bad. Screw it. Josh Godfrey. We're in Ontario. Ontario is so huge. Now we got a couple of fourth rounders here. Uh, we could use some tackle depth, I suppose. Yeah, that always hits us hard that there's like young people, like young sports stars that are yeah, like Patrick Mahomes. Yeah, that and are like, younger than us. Charlotte Lawrence is seven years younger than us. Yeah, yeah, I don't like that. Demetrius Vereen, welcome to the team. Hidden Dev, we hit one. Stud, actually. He's Toronto. really good. Toronto. I don't know why his play rec is so much better than his awareness, but I like it. What college football team do I like? I actually don't really love a college football team. I'll watch college football, but I don't really have a team. Don't you like UCF? Because I mean, didn't you have a cousin that went there? Yeah. I mean, I have cousins that go to every state in the... That's I have... True. My mo my that. mom has 16 siblings, so I have like a thousand cousins, so I have family at a lot of colleges, but that doesn't necessarily mean I like them. I'm not super attached it doesn't, to it the doesn't mean, No, the it doesn't mean I is like not them. the cousins. <laughs> Larry Page. Isn't Larry Page a Hall of Fame like defensive tackle for the Vikings? I think he is. Well, now he's a linebacker for the Texans in 2024. <clears throat> All right, one more. I guess we probably have a couple more picks here. Um, yeah, my grandparents were busy. Truth. <laughs> busy is one word for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 16 is a lot. Crazy. That's how many kids TFG wants. <laughs> yeah, right. Thoughts on our Darius Washington. He is, to me, literally LaMarcus Joyner. I like him better as a free safety, but he could play slot corner as well. I have been to Ohio. You have not, but you have, are waiting. I feel like I've been to Ohio, maybe. Like, driven through it, like, on a road trip, but I've never been to... I want to go to Cincinnati and see a Bengals game. I've said I won't marry someone until I, I've been taken to a Bengals game, and it has not happened yet, so time is ticking. <laughs> well, I was going to take you to one this year, but COVID. Pesky COVID. Oh, Alan Page, not Larry Page, is the Hall of Famer. I should know that. Alan Page spoke at our graduation at St. Thomas. She wants to see Joe. I actually wanted to see Andy Dalton. That's how long this has been going on. Yeah. I've been saying this now for probably 12 years. Still hasn't happened. Did, uh, did I tell you that um, the Bengals are getting new jerseys this year? I don't know how I feel about that. Are they online? Like, have they designed them yet? Um, I don't think so. Should I do tight out? I think we should. Let's just try it because of his connection with Kyle Pitts. 
How long do I predict before the Cards win the Super Bowl? I think they'll get one in Kyler Murray's career, but to know when that's going to be, I mean, it's just... Ooh, these are cool. A lot of things need to go right to win a Super Bowl. Those are really cool. I like the Cincy. The Cincy, yeah. All right, we're going to slide... Um... Joe Burrow is way too young for me, please. I like old men. Matt Nagy style. You would have to worry if we went to a Bears game. That's a weird statement. <laughs> <laughs> but it's true. Uh, I was in, let's see, I've been to Cleveland and I've been to Cincinnati. I had family in Cleveland. I went to, uh, I went to Canton for the Hall of Fame one year with my dad. And then, uh, yeah, I've been to, I've been to Cincy as well. I have, uh, my sister's fiance is from Cincinnati, so we visited their family one year. And then we'll be in Cincinnati in, uh, October. For what? For John's, sorry, oh, yeah. sorry John's wedding. Mm -hmm. All right, we got the squad put together. It's 546, so luckily we don't have a lot of cuts to make because we didn't add a ton of players. So the goal here, let's see, it usually takes like an hour to get through the playoffs if we're going to win the Super Bowl. So if we can get, if we can get through the season in like an hour, maybe 45 minutes, we'll be, we'll be in good shape. So definitely going to limit how much we play during the regular season. It's going to be much more about making sure we get to the playoffs while keeping it balanced. Uh, and then I'm going to work on, for our devs, I'm going to work on Lance. I'm going to work on, does, uh, yeah, Eubanks has star. I'm going to work on him because he's going to get some playing time this year. And then I'm going to work on, oh, let's keep going Pitts. Why not? Let's get Pitts up to a 99. Who's my number one guard in this class? I gotta re-review it. I, I'm sure Elijah Vera Tucker, when all is said and done, will be up there. I'm not as big on Vera Tucker though. Right now it's Trey Smith. Bless you. Bless you, Teddy. Up to 85 viewers. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Tutu is prime for big things. He's got another ability there. Man, this team's looking good. Is Darren Waller a good comp for Kyle Pitts? I don't think so because I think Pitts is a lot quicker and not as good of a blocker. I I just with Kyle Pitts, I don't think it's necessary to give him a comp like. Dude's a freak. I don't think we've seen a player like him before. All right, well, we'll go deep out elite. So he's just a deep <laughs> specialist. That's not <laughs> how that went. TFG told me he was a YouTuber, and I was not impressed because I thought he was some loser who lived in his mom's <laughs> basement and had a YouTube channel for a living. Yeah. <laughs> it's a hard thing to tell people. And I'm a doctor. So it's a hard <laughs> it thing wasn't to tell really... People. Yeah, professional football analyzer. Perfect. I analyzed the no, football. No, but you said... You didn't even say that part. You just said you were a YouTuber. Yeah. Which now I know is a well, valid I also, thing. I, I, just, I think I said I was a football analyst because I was working for PFF. No, you were much more about the YouTube thing. And I was very unimpressed. I made it work. <laughs> but now I'm impressed. Very impressed. <laughs> I mean, someone's got to take care of Teddy, right, Mr. Pib? <laughs> <laughs> Ray Ayer's already getting that training from Laramie. Thank you, Mr. Pib. Yes, shout out to the doctor, 
taking care of all the babies during a pandemic. No big deal. Benefit of that. No, never mind. All right. Cut season. We got to get the uh, the cut sound bite. Only 12 cuts. We don't really watch basketball at all. Yeah, we're not a big basketball household to I'd be I'd say that's honest. like the one sport that we really both don't like. Yeah. All right, so we are fiscally tied to all three of these guys. We're not tied to Isaac Gaffney. We did sign Mims, so I think I'm going to let Gaffney go. What's up, W-I-F-Y-2121? Nice. Nailed it. I thought you were going to screw it up. <laughs> I can actually still practice squad Gaffney, so why not? We got Gaffney and Godfrey. That's confusing. I don't know if we have room for all these guys or not. We'll see. What's your wife's favorite NFL teams? Bengals and Bears, oh my. You don't have a wife. <laughs> Soon to be wife. Gross. Yeah, we got too many. Man, this guy's kind of a freak, not gonna lie. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna convert this guy to tight end and practice squad him for a year. Cause he is like super athletic. Thanks for the follows guys. Yeah, thank you everybody. Oh, you like WandaVision. I think it's so creepy. Um, yeah, I like WandaVision. It was weird until yesterday's episode. I don't even know why I'm taking the time to do this, but. I'm gonna practice squad him. We don't need all of these linemen. Corey Falk's a little cheaper now, so I think I'll let him go to the practice squad. What's the best TV show? I still think it's Game of Thrones, even though the ending is bland. Zach Brooks, you're gonna get the practice squad here. Well, Landon, I don't want to get into spoilers for people that haven't watched it yet. That's a that's a big Twitch no-no. Okay, we don't need all these guys. I think because we drafted Demetrius Vereen, I'm going to let Blacklock go. We only need four D-tackles. And then we definitely don't need all these guys. I'm gonna... Dwayne Johnson. Yeah. Both these guys are super similar. Um, who's got the better coverage? I'm actually gonna keep Nasiril Dean and let Dwayne Johnson go. Do you think his parents did that on purpose? Um, potentially. I mean, he's... 26 uh, the years rock old. has to be like or in his 40s at least man i don't know i feel like that wouldn't make sense like time wise i don't know he when he was on wrestling he was pretty young he was probably like 20 max the rock yeah it's definitely possible you think he's in his 50s yeah he has to be pretty old He still looks delicious. <laughs> Hi. Ben. All right, we're gonna let Cam Bynum go because Metcalf is developed here. He's forty-eight. And we're gonna practice squad Curtis Golden. And then we gotta make one more cut. I think it's gonna be, unfortunately, Brady Breeze. And there's the squad. 
All right, so we're really focusing on making sure we make the playoffs this year. We do kind of got to speed up a little bit. I'm going to turn. <laughs> <laughs> we might have to talk about that. You call it. That was a, just like a gross description of a person, <laughs> but I'm not saying it's not true. All right, we're going to go auto. We're going to go. Um, where's player development? I feel like I've looked, tried to find this before, and I couldn't find it. Uh, um. Season experience? No, that's... Oh, auto progress place right there. Okay, week one against the Colts. Let's do our let's do our play the moments mini game for this one. I think I'll do like six games, play the minute, play the moments mini game, and then one game of all play the moments, and that'll help us get through the season pretty quick. But uh, we're gonna just kind of auto progress. When am I gonna let Catherine on stream again? I don't understand. Is that a reference? Oh, I see what you guys are doing. I'm trying to get her to think that I'm cheating or something. I don't know. I think that's Was someone named Catherine? You guys really What is she like a girl? I don't know. And you guys really she watches all of the streams, so she would know if I brought another girl on, on the stream. Also, I'd be impressed if you could get another <laughs> if girlfriend. If I could get two girls to come on a stream. With I you? would honestly not even be mad. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, wow, he's more he's more of a player than I thought he was. <laughs> You guys have to understand, I am not the jealous type at all. Although that'd be weird. If I had, you wouldn't be <laughs> yeah, jealous if girl. I had another girl I wouldn't be in jealous, I'd just be like, all right, see ya. Are you giving, what are you saying? <laughs> that, that's not, not what that I, I even saying. That. I wasn't actually supposed to play that. We'll just pretend that didn't happen. I got stopped anyway, so who cares? All right, so we get three play the moments, one full drive. I'm gonna play the red zone trip, why not? Wi-Fi is asking if we have a pet. And yeah, he's right here. <laughs> he looks really ugly right now, but he's actually pretty cute. Did mom just call you ugly? He is ugly right now. He needs a haircut. That's actually true. Blitz is on. Oh, jeez. That got in quickly. Music is choppy. Ah. All right. Screw the music. Cut the music. I, I can call Teddy ugly. He's my dog. I think he's the cutest dog in the whole world, but he's ugly right now. Alright, we got stuff. That's a missed opportunity there. Oh, game audio is choppy, not music. Yeah, the whole thing's gonna be... I don't know why it does that. It's so annoying. I think I, I like... Need to... Oh, just get rid... Oh, no! Get the ball. I need to restart my computer before I stream. Uh, let's... Can you cut the game audio? Yeah. You should probably restart the music then, so it's just like not silent. So the music was fine. Maybe. I don't know. You want to play a snap? Absolutely not. We've been there, done that. 
We know how that yeah, goes. Yeah, we know how that goes. You throw three interceptions to Blake Martinez. <laughs> which is impressive. <laughs> Oh, we got it. All right, we got one moment left. That's right, Honk Boy. I just learned it's Honk Boy, not Honky Boy. You can't say that? That's bad? Cancel TFG, am I right? Mm -hmm. All right, this drive's going to be it until the two-minute warning, at least. Blitz is on. Just flip it to pits. You can't cover the man. You can't cover the man. Get out of bounds. TFG is overboard. <laughs> <laughs> That's on Chase Edmonds. Yeah, he's fine. Scat back, third down back. I don't have any strong opinions on him, but he's not a starter. He can play, though. All right, we got to make something happen. Oh, God, Blitz is on. Oh, that was beautiful. Diami Brown, let's go. What a play. I don't know why the Colts were zero blitz in there. Brandon wants to know why. It... I think it's like a really like old term that was offensive towards either white people or black people. I don't even know which, but I'm just not trying to get TFG canceled. Yeah, me neither. I don't think it's used anymore. I think it's like very old. Someone look it up. Well, I know how to say your name, Geometric Key, because I hear Marcus say it all the time. Otherwise, I'd have no idea how to say your name. Also, you are like holding Teddy in a stranglehold right now. That's how he wants to be held. Okay. It's about to call PETA. <laughs> all right, we picked up a dub, chat. Picking up dubs. One game down. We got the Ravens next week. I think I might use uh, use our full play the moments here because we know these these Ravens can be tough. Go eat your Arby, Arby's, cuddle me, dog. Enjoy yourself. Look at those load times. See? It censored it. Oh, interesting. It's the same as saying cracker. Interesting. The more you know. Oh, we're giving pits the look here. Oh, he's got that. Oh, let's go. What a catch. What a catch. Just put it up for him. I feel like that probably burst people's eardrums. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> if we blow everyone's ears out, they can't hear me talk anymore, which is probably really bad for my career. So that's <laughs> probably a bad idea. Oh, goodness. Goodness graciousness. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 we got it. Are you imitating that? Oh, yeah, up? yeah. We need the, uh, when that ball is on the ground. Mm -hmm. Ooh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I love that sound bite. <laughs> what I need is, like, a play where, like, he's, like, trying to like catch like get a second mm -hmm, foot down or something mm -hmm. and then review it with that oh he missed him i was gonna ask if anybody has been to a game at the new raiders stadium but obviously nobody has obviously not unless you were john gruden that's another priority on our list, is yeah. to go to a, a game in Las Vegas. That stadium looks so cool. Yeah, it does. Oh, no. Oh, no. What happened there? I was trying to throw it to Pitts in the middle of the field, and he launched it into the end zone. I actually don't know 
what the hell happened there? Did I do all offense only instead of play the moments? I don't think I did. Do you want to answer Jack's Jaguars, what kind of dog Teddy is? Teddy's a palm, a Pomeranian. Nice play. Time out. I'd go to a Colts game. Colts sounds fun. I've heard hit or miss things about Indianapolis. What jersey do you want that you don't already have? Well, you got your... Oh, get it, Pitts! Oh, you don't... Oh, Didn't my you want goodness. a Patrick Mahomes jersey? I did want a Mahomes jersey, yeah. Um, Aaron Donald's on my list. I actually like the new Rams jerseys. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, you told me you hated that. Oh, my goodness! What a throw! That's awesome. I'm rich. We're about to be pulled. I'm rich. We're about to be pulled. I'm rich. You're free. <laughs> that's that's a new thing that Cam Newton did. Some kid at he had a football camp and some kid was chirping Cam Newton, like saying like you're trash, you're a free agent. Like some kid at his camp and Twitter just tore this kid to shreds. They're like, <laughs> like what a fucking loser. Like he is. Instead of taking the time to like pick Cam Newton's brain, who's like one of the most like methodical, like hardworking, like for all of his get up and how goofy mm -hmm. he is off the field, like he's actually like a super a smart, smart player. I believe that. But instead of like picking his brain, he spent the time to like chirp Cam Newton about how he's a free agent and how he's trash. Hmm. Seems like a odd reason to go to that. Yeah. No, Twitter tore him a new butthole. Brandon, when you say our stadium, are you talking about Soldier Field or are you talking Ooh. about Colts? The Soldier Field is also pretty awesome. Yeah, Soldier's, soldier's sweet. Colts, got it. Yeah, I don't know. Indiana doesn't attract me. I guess being from Illinois, it just like... Indiana with like the cornfields and the hicks, even though I'm sure it's not actually like that. <laughs> but I'm sure going to a Colts game would be fun. All right, we're gonna end this game right here. Jalen Darden. No, we're not. We actually love the Viking stadium too, even yeah. though neither of us are Vikings fans. That is, that's probably my favorite that I've been to out of two. <laughs> <laughs> There's that double me ability, baby. <laughs> Just put it up for him. They actually doubled him. I was just waiting on him to get one-on-one -on -one out there and they actually did double him. The Minneapolis Miracle. Is that the thing you keep trying to get me to watch? No, that's the movie Miracle. Oh. Um, the Minneapolis Miracle is uh, when the Vikings were in the playoffs. Oh, yeah, 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 Stephon yeah. Stephon Diggs yeah. did the thing for the I forgot win. about that. Yeah. That was another soundbite that someone said I should get, is the, announce the call on that play. Mm-hmm. Playoffs? Don't talk about playoffs. You kidding me? Playoffs? Did Cam win a ring in Washington? I don't think so. I don't see Cam Newton leading a good enough offense. In Washington? Hmm. I mean, I think it's a good fit, but that's a good su thought, though. Super Bowl's a little ambitious, but that I mean, that might be one of their best options for sure. I haven't thought about much what they're gonna do. Yeah, they're in a tough spot. They are. Because they picked mm, 19th in the draft. Yeah. It's unfortunate. Uh, okay, I was... Oh, yeah, depth chart. I wanted to change some things on the depth chart to make sure everything's in line. Let's see. Receiver. I want Diami number two with Darden in the slot. And then I want... I want Eubanks starting full time. And then I gotta make sure this is in line. Mm. 
That is stressful, honk boy. Washington and Carolina? Hmm. Yeah, that sucks. Let's slide you banks up there. And then slot corners, Jordan Lewis. Sweet. Brandon, that's my favorite part of going to live sporting events is talking to people that I don't know. TFG can vouch for that. <laughs> but that's anywhere we go. What, talking to people we don't know? Oh, that's your favorite part. Yeah. Yeah. But I do that everywhere we go. Yeah. All right, I'm going to start doing some simulating here. We got the Dob Bears this week. We lost 30 to 27. And now we need the. Uh... The Bears are who we thought they were. And that's why we took the damn field. Now, if you want to crown them, then crown their ass. But they are who we thought they were. And we let them off the hook. I love that song. Yeah. Bite? Sound clip? Bite. Sound bite. Okay. So we pick up an L. That's too bad. We got the Jags this week. We'll do a play the moments mini game. Brandon, for you know I don't approve of Mohawk Marcus. Asking me more is not going to make me approve it. <laughs> <laughs> what is Brandon? I'd be down to get Teddy a mohawk, but that's the extent of mohawks in our family. I give Teddy a mohawk all the time. Oh, mohawk, Marcus. You're right. It's not mullet this time. Sorry for the confusion. Also, no. Also, no. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, I don't think it's also a yes. Nice play. Wide receiver screen. Oh, throw it, Lance. Oh my goodness. That's pitiful. I mean, it's absolutely pitiful to, to perform like that. Pitiful. Get in the end zone. Oh. See, like that'd be a good, that'd be a good time to look at. Um, oh, hang on, I gotta call my play first. Apparently, what year is it in this? Oh, I can't do instant replay. Uh, 2024. What about just mustache, Marcus? I would love for no. Marcus to shave his beard. No. Marcus will not. I look like a 18-year-old boy. Is I that think you'd look good. I don't usually like them with beards, but I do like your beard. Do I think Marcus would look good bald? I don't know. I don't really want to find out, but I think you'd be handsome. However. Why would I shave my head? You wouldn't. I'm saying when you go bald, because you're going to. Mustache Marcus is a 100K <laughs> subscriber. Look, if you guys get me to 100K subs on YouTube, I will go bald and get a bus, uh, go mustache only. But Ooh, it has that to be, would be a look, both at the same time? It has to, yeah, both at the same time. But it has to be, did he catch that? Now we can do it. This is, this is clip worthy. Channel, channel Tony Romo. I mean, it's not really that close, but still. <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> it has to be before uh, before the end of March, though. So you guys better start doing some promotions. You're not going to Mexico bald. <laughs> no, at the end of March. They have you to get said out. before the end of March. Okay, well, yeah. I'll do it after we get back You'd from Mexico. You'd be so sunburned. <laughs> All right, we're going to play uh, one more moment for this game because things are going pretty well. Nice. Team's team's playing well, chat. Do, 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 do. No good moments here. Uh, 
Okay, I guess we'll play this. Oh, the game's done. Let's just get out of here. What Dubs. do you think about Mr. Koo? Young Hu Koo? Great season. I, I don't do kicker analysis, though. I'm usually running to the bathroom during, uh, during kicks. What? I don't like watching kicks. It's a waste, a waste of time. It's Unless just it's... a weird statement to make. That makes you sound like you run to the bathroom like every 16 minutes. I mean, there's only like five field goals a game. Ooh, Greedy got the breakout. I forgot he had that. Nice. Who's your favorite kicker? My favorite? God, Ja'Cory Melton getting hurt again. Uh, my favorite kicker is... I have a favorite kicker. Justin Tucker. Mm-hmm. Because he's just a s absolute stud muffin supreme. Yeah. You know who mine is. Yeah. Good as gold. Mr. Gold. All right, we're going to play this game against the Texans. Three and two, so we're... Oh, Mason Crosby. Mason Crosby is also clutch. He's a handsome dude. I just meant about his kicking skills. I yeah, have no idea fine. how he looks like, though. He's all right. So someone says, do you think having a clutch kicker can be considered one of the most important positions on a team, or is it less important in today's game? Um, it can be super important, hence the Bears in yeah, their double doings. I think the, there's... Ex and know, the Vikings. Yeah. there's like, That really affected their game. There's extreme examples for sure um, of like a bad kicker really screwing you over. I tend to think that kickers are just, for the most part kind of head cases and unpredictable i mean like even justin tucker will like randomly miss kicks it's it's definitely important to have a good kicker but if you're if you can't get one of the three or four best kickers there's not a big difference between like the fifth best kicker and like the 25th best kicker but there's definitely kickers where it's like you need to figure it out like the bears but all of a sudden, like, a year later, they committed to it, and now the Bears have, like, really good kicking game. And it's not like their kicker, like... I, I think it have... makes a difference if you have a really bad kicker. It, yeah, exactly. Otherwise, it's kind of just... Meh. Right. It's kind of like run defense. Just don't have a bottom five run defense, and you'll be fine. Like, who's, who's like, the 20th best kicker in, in the league? Like, Daniel Carlson, maybe? Do I feel much better about Daniel Carlson making a clutch kick than I do about Mason Crosby? Oh, jeez. Not all that much. Oh! Nice play. Oh, the double doink. Man, that was that was rough. We were at your parents when that happened. And I had I had money on the other guys. Yeah, you did. Marcus's family is all Packers fans. And I was with them when the double doink happens, and I'm a Bears fan, so it was very traumatic for me and none of them cared. Well my dad my dad's a kind of a closet Bears fan. Yeah, I guess. And he doesn't like the Eagles, so... Yeah, who likes the Eagles? Ooh, big end of game drive. Here we go. I'm glad we extended Henderson, because... Ja'Cory Melton got hurt again. Ooh, good run. Do I think Russ gets traded? I don't think That's so. That's a good question, though. If he does, do you think Pete gets canned? Uh... Honestly... I feel like Pete Carroll's just safe. Like, they might ask him to retire. Or, like, step down early or whatever. Just for optics. I don't know. The whole thing's kind of a disaster. Because Pete's got his style. I love Pete Carroll. A lot but people... I don't think it has anything to do with... Like, I don't know that he's the best fit right now for that team. Right. Certainly not for Russell Wilson. Yeah.
But yeah, I've been on uh, the anti-peat wagon for a little while now. This song sounds like a wedding song. I feel like it's a little too intense for a wedding song. But they do have the, uh, what do they call the church? Organ? Organ. Yeah, it does have the organ. Oh, good play, Henderson. Is this Compies? No, this is uh, YouTube stock music. Got it. All right, looking like another dub. I think Wilson gets let off too much for the Seahawks issues. Um, no, because I don't think the Seahawks issues are related to his play. I think it's scheme and defense. Well, comp keys themselves comp keys are going is, to be, they're in our wedding party. Yeah, so. comp keys is in our wedding party, so. <laughs> they will indeed be at the wedding. Yes. He gets 0% of the blame. I mean, he didn't play great down the stretch, that's for sure, but... I'm actually, I'm actually gonna go for this. Fourth and goal. Henderson's made some guys miss. I trust my defense if we can't get this. Oh, wow, what a tackle. All right, we gotta step in and play some defense. Eric Griffin. I don't know if Herbert's injured or what's going on there. I like Tomlin. Yeah, Tomlin's sweet. Base. I don't like the Steelers, but I like Tomlin. Oh! God. Time out. See, the beauty of this is if we can get him on the next three downs, then we're basically already in field goal range. Get him. Should head coach and QB traded the same by that? If they aren't producing well enough, do you just get rid of them? Uh, I mean, it just doesn't all... It doesn't always apply to, like, the same team. I don't think it's always as simple as either they're both together as a package deal or... You know what I mean? I think in the Seahawks situation, it's definitely the coach. Oh, he could go. He could go. Oh, let's go. What a way to end the game. Wow, okay. I think Carroll gets the axe anytime soon. Honestly, I think how this plays out is Russ doesn't go anywhere. They play out another year, and if they disappoint, then Pete just retires. Because I think he, I don't think he has a big market for someone else to sign him at this point. He's 70 years old. I think they they tell him like we're gonna fire you, but you can go out on top and just retire if you want. I hope that he's talking to you, Marcus. <laughs> Did you see this? Oh. Stand up and show us your booty. Like, <laughs> yeah, I need to. He's, hopefully he's talking to me. How do I get out of this? All right. Where are we at? We're week eight already, so we're we're coasting along. We're going to sim against the Jags. We handled them last time. God damn. 28 to 10. The Lions are 6 and 1. I think they got uh, the Lions have Leo, the guy that 
was in our nightmares. Oh no, they get Jared Goff, that's right. So Jared Goff working out in 2024 for Detroit. We got a bunch of guys up for renegotiations here. I'm just, just for time's sake, I'm not gonna worry about it because this is our final season. Who's this coach? Oh, it's, um, he's the current Texans offensive coordinator, mm. but that's not what he actually looks like. That's just like a custom made. Oh, it's terrible. Yeah. They're, they have like eight options. He needs to shave his head and trim his beard. I'll tell EA Sports because there's eight options for coach faces. And that's one of them. All right. Yeah. And that's one of the best looking ones, to be completely honest. You mean in the options? Because there's plenty of good looking head coaches. Right. Yeah. Oh, dang, good coverage, 28. Oh, Pitts. No! Ooh, Ooh. at least he... <laughs> Tony oh. Romo reviewing the catch. <laughs> How's the team been since you left? Um, we're four and three. We've been all right. Just focusing in on Making the playoffs here. It's a big game. Detroit's six and one here. Yeah, you're gonna make a 2022 draft class, right? Mm, for next year, man. Yeah. Isn't that what that means? I think he means for this Madden. Oh. Uh, yeah, no, Panda, I am not going to do that. Draft class creation, just doing the one class is enough for me. That... Damn, we got another big first quarter drive opportunity. I'll take it. Do I think it's likely we see a QB1 emerge out of nowhere in next year's draft? I do. At this point, I mean, the last four years, with the way the modern game is these days, I really think that that's, that's kind of the norm. Is don't jump to any conclusions about the quarterback class until the final year. Jazzer says, has your opinion on Jordan Bro Brooks? Brooks changed since he was drafted. Um, Not really. I thought Seattle was a good spot to kind of coach him up. Oh, Kyle Pitts, an easy touchdown. Easy touchdown. What a play. Um, you know, he's a good athlete. I, I thought he was a third-round prospect, but I, I didn't mind the pick for Seattle. I thought he was a bit of a reach, but, like, his physical upside is through the roof, so... I would say he played about as I well like he took some time to get on the field and then played about as well as I, I probably saw him playing in that system, so I don't think my opinions on, on him has changed all that much. Who do you think ends up being the last of the remaining franchises to win their first Super Bowl? Oh You see that shit? No. Oh my goodness! I was reading the chat! What? Let me see it. I don't know if it's gonna let me. I don't think it's gonna let me. Time out. Just recreate it in my head for me. He was like, ah, and then he got hit and he was like, ooh, and then he was like, ooh, I got my feet down. And then Tony was like, ooh, yo, ooh, yo. <laughs> Here it is. I think you like, I liked your description better okay. than the real thing. All right, we've done our moments. Time to go to the end of the game. Beat Detroit, beat Detroit. Nice, we got this. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. All right. 
Got him. Big dubs. Big, big dubs. Um, I'm in the NICU neonatal, so I take care of really tiny sick babies. I think Teddy's enjoying this stream set. I think he is too. All right, we gotta we gotta get to these playoffs. Where is it? Playoffs? Don't talk about it. playoffs. You kidding me? Playoffs? We got maybe another game or two to interfere if we need it, but ooh, a breakout QB. All right, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna play. The breakout QB game. See if we can get that X factor against Tennessee. And then if we can get by with it, we'll simulate the rest of the game. But that'd be fun to have X factor for the for the playoffs. Kakari Melton's been cleared. We're gonna keep rolling with Henderson. Okay, well, I think I'm gonna go take a nap. You're gonna go take a nap. Alright. Teddy agrees. Teddy's been napping the whole time. <laughs> okay, right. bye everyone. Thanks for joining us. It was fun. I gotta adjust the camera and stuff. Ugh. All right. This stream just got a lot uglier. That's pretty, that's pretty good. And then this can come down a little bit. All right. So we gotta not throw picks, that's the thing. We gotta make sure we're making good decisions. We can limit that. Have I seen Charlie Casserly's mock draft? No, I have not. Read off the, the top 10 for me and I'll react to it. Nashi Harris at eight. Oh, it was, that was Casserly. I did see that actually. I actually watched, um, I think it was Bengal's reaction to it. I don't, oh, he dropped that, damn. I don't watch a lot of Bengal, but I checked out his reaction to that. And uh, yeah, that, that mock is brutal. Yeah, running back at, like Najee Harris at eight is just insanity. Oh, Cowboys rule in the house. What did you miss? Uh, well, we got a breakout for um, Trey Lance right now. Trying to go up to. Gosh, and he can't can't hit these tough throws. Titans defense is cracking down. We tell the Bengal story again. We tell the Bengal story every every stream. Oh, go get it. Nice. Basically, I thought he stole a... I was, I was dumb and up and coming, and I thought he stole a YouTube video, which was just a really dumb comment because it was a very basic concept, and there's no way he stole it from me. He probably didn't even know who I was. Oh, yikes. Would Fields to Carolina excite me? Uh, yeah. Better than nothing. Oh, I want to throw this so bad. Go get it. Yeah. Oh, geez. Have I reached out to Bengal? Uh, no, I have not. But I have nothing, I have no problem with Bengal. I think he's, 
a very talented YouTuber. Oh, okay, Diami Brown. I like that we get some animations on next gen that we didn't, uh, we don't normally get on old gen. There you go, Henderson. That's a first down, baby. Thanks for joining us, Lisa B. It was a delight to have you. I believe I'm speaking for everyone else. And myself. Jeez. Hopefully Sax isn't a uh, knock on his breakout. Give it to him. Could have played the Romo soundbite for that, too. Okay, Blitz is going to be on here. Oh, we had RB for the touchdown. Damn. What is it about football that I like? I love how it is the most dynamic game out there. Um, all the different chess pieces, the matchups, the coaching, the schemes. When you compare it to all three other sports, there's just so many moving pieces that just, it's so fun to break down the game and predict the game. And I just, I, I would say, you know, football is chess. The other games are checkers. And, you know, with, with all due respect to the other games, I just really enjoy the mental Okay, I don't want to play this because we're kicking the field goal. Did I ever watch soccer? Yeah, I'm, I'll watch soccer. I have nothing against soccer. It's just soccer in the U.S. isn't quite as uh, exciting. Go, Henderson. Nice play. Go, baby. Let's go. Oh, no. Will Stafford be a Hall of Famer if he wins a ring in L.A.? Yeah, I think so. I think he does need to win a ring, though, to go to the Hall of Fame. Because by the time he retires, you're going to have all these modern quarterbacks with, like, comparable passing numbers on a per-year basis. And people are going to be wondering if it was the era he played in that let him put up such good numbers or if he was a Hall of Fame player. So I, I do think Stafford needs to have... A Super Bowl season. All right, this is a good game so far. Kyle Pitts, baby. Let him go get it. I don't even know what we need. Yeah, the Cowherd Jeremiah draft was so bad. Oh my god. That was probably worse than the Casserly draft, to be honest. I don't know what's what's the deal with Jeremiah's this year. I think Daniel Jeremiah. I think he's a stud, and maybe maybe he's playing chess while we're all playing checkers, but I think he's a little off this year. We'll see though. All right, good drive. I don't know how he can say Rashawn Slater is a better prospect than uh, than Sewell. No, please don't count against his. Does that count against his breakout chat? I really hope it doesn't.
I think it might. That sucks on a screenplay, too. Hopefully it doesn't count against it. We're going to keep going for this. Time out. Can Donald still become a top 10 QB? I think he can. Is it likely? No, but... There we go, good play call. We are gonna, hopefully this doesn't get picked, but it's Kyle Pitts. Too easy, dude. Too easy. Let's go. You gotta cover him one. You can't leave him one on one like that. Man, I'm gonna miss Kyle Pitts when this season's when this rebuild's done. He is just insane. First down. Man, Jadavion Clowney hitting Kyle Pitts, that's uh that's something. Sure Cowboys rule. Send me uh send me a request. Let me know what's your what's your Discord name though, because I get a lot of those, so I wanna I wanna make sure it's yours. Oh, we're hitting that. Cahill Warring, baby. Let's go. You love Pitts in Miami? That's the one team that I actually don't think Kyle Pitts would be a good pick for. <laughs> because as much as I love Kyle Pitts, you're completely neutralizing the one biggest weapon they have on offense, and that's Mike Gesicki. I don't think Mike Gesicki and Kyle Pitts can coexist in an offense. I think if you draft Kyle Pitts, you'd have to trade Mike Gesicki. We're just going to run it. There you go, Trey. Nice. Yeah, but if you're just using pits at wide receiver, like straight up wide receiver, then... I don't know. I think he could, he could do it, but... You might as well just take... Oh, no! Oof, that was close. You might as well take Devontae Smith at that point. Would I ever do a drunk stream? No, I don't think so. Oh my goodness, Pitts. Fourth and one. Just flip it to him. Let him fight for it. Let's go. Beautiful. I think we still need to throw one more touchdown, so we got to be careful. Make sure we achieve that. Did I win the Super Bowl in the Falcons franchise? Um, I think I did. 
I actually don't remember. Just have to, gonna have to watch to find out. Oh boy, that's a sack. Carlos Basham. I may have not won it until we did the stream recap of it. Oh, beautiful throw, we needed that. Nice. Bit of a risky throw, but do I think it's likely Atlanta actually takes fields? Yeah, I do. I think they realize it's one pick that they're unlikely to ever get again against another 20 years. Like, I think they know that they're not screwing their team over by drafting fields. I honestly, I honestly think they're screwing their team over if they don't draft a quarterback. Now, it could be Lance. It could be Lance and not Fields, but... I'm just going to get rid of that. Not worth throwing a pick. Although we do still need a touchdown here. run oh no oh thank god that didn't get picked that would have sucked if we lost the breakout on that line is getting eaten up by this Titans pass rush. This is incredible. Chat, you guys are going to make me sad talking about another team ending up with Corey Lindsley. I hate the thought of that. Nice play. Jalen Darden's been quiet this year. All right, there's 400. I don't know if we need 400 or 450 or what, but I'm just going to keep passing. I just got your text, TFGF. You got it. Man, Pitts has got to have, like, at least 10 catches. Nine for 108. Oh no! Oh, why did I throw that? He had him beat and then I threw it late. Ah. I 
I mean, can, are we going to get the ball back at least? Or is this one over? Okay, we're at least going to get the ball back. We can at least go win the game. Ah! That's not good at all. I might as well have swatted that thing into the ground. Yucky, yuck. Okay, 2 2's got a chance here. Oh, he's got this. Go get it, 2 2. Oh, no! You can't get caught. You can't get caught there. Oh. What a clutch tackle. Damn. All right, well, we really got to keep we really got to get this season moving. So, I'm hoping that we can still finish strong here. We know we didn't get the breakout. We're still 5 and 4, so My favorite landing spot for Donald is probably um Carolina. I think this is 2-2. Yeah, he's not going to get that. <laughs> Jacksonville is stormed back here. All right, there's a win. Defense stepped up, 21-17. We finally get our running back back. That will, uh, that will help. How do you slide when running with your QB in Madden? You, uh, you just tap X, don't you? pick in fantasy will swift be worth i think he'll he'll return value as a second round pick for swift like a late second all right now we're rolling we just beat the patriots uh have i ever thought about doing a rebuild like mr hurricane does how does what would that entail We're in good shape here. Eight and four. Just picked up another loss. Another loss. Colts. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to do a, a little bit of uh, play the moments against the Colts here with the Vikings. Ugh. Well, we beat the Colts week one, so this should be winning in. Man, AFC is tight. All right, we got to win this one. He plays every game the whole game. I probably wouldn't do it that way, to be honest. Jeez, Melton, what is your deal? I just can't stay healthy. Yeah, a lot of people have said Eagles rebuild. It'd be fascinating. I, 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 Broncos, I think, are going to be the next rebuild, though. That or Jets. We're going to do a poll on uh, at TFG Plays, my secondary Twitter account, if you guys aren't following. 
Jets or Broncos are definitely going to be the next rebuild. But uh, I wouldn't rule out Eagles being, being on the short list there. What's the penalty? Rough in the passer. That was a beautiful touchdown. Ooh, red zone. Love it. Patriots. We actually just did the Patriots uh, on the back end of Madden 20, so I won't be doing the Patriots again. Two-minute drill. Nice throw. Now, I'm not going to do the Jags again. We just did the Jags. Oh, my God. Did he? I thought he caught that. That was a really dumb throw. Sewell fell to the Giants in Coward's Mock? Oh, my goodness. I guess that was with Daniel Jeremiah, who's for some reason lower on. Oh, man, Pitts. You missed the Jags rebuild? Well, it's not too late to go back. It was a great rebuild. That Jags rebuild was one of my most fun rebuilds I've done. I'm going for it. Oh! Oh, man. Yeah, Bears. Bears would be a good one. All right, Darden. Go get it, Darden. Oh, my. He's out of bounds. Kenny Moore has two picks. I'm not even going to stop to review it because I know it's not going to change anything. Because you know why? EA Sports. Go fuck yourself. That's why. Defensive game. We gotta bunker down, make sure we win this thing. I heard Zach say Dak will go in free agency. He made some good points that they just they can't afford him. It is it is starting to feel more and more like Dak is gone. This whole salary cap thing is throwing a wrench in what we all know, though. That's the thing. We still don't know what the real salary cap's going to be. I think a lot of teams are just kind of holding holding all their cards in their hands, just kind of waiting to see what the official salary cap's going to be. It's possible that... Oh, my God, what a play. Jeez. I mean, if they, if they make this huge deal with ESPN for Monday Night Football... That could potentially change the salary cap for next year. This, the cap could potentially go up next year if this deal comes in before the season starts. So there's still a lot on the line. All the, all the NFL said is that the, the salary cap will be, at a minimum, 180000 Jazz are heard it'll be roughly one eighty six. Yeah, the, the number keeps going up and up. So, you know, these owners, 
these owners that ultimately are responsible for making sure the cap gets set that none of none of the owners want the salary cap to go down so ultimately i wouldn't be stunned if it gets if it, that number keeps going up and up and up and guys like dak and Corey lindsley and chris godwin and all these guys that teams aren't sp supposed to be able to afford i wouldn't be surprised if that number changes dramatically all right so we better make the freaking playoffs i'm tempted I'm tempted to force the Jags to lose just so we for sure make it. Should we do that chat or just roll the dice? If we don't make it, the series is done. And that'd be a really sour be a really sour end. Alright. Let's just see what happens. We're in. That's all I could ask for. I guess we should see... Uh... See what our stats were for the season. We ended up winning the division, so we get a home game. Trey Lance went off. Melton was injured, but it was good when he was out there. Kyle Pitts. Kind of just spreading the, spreading the wealth around a little bit there. Bud Dupree, another 17 sack season. All right. We got this, guys. Back to back. It was a rough regular season, but we are coasting. What happened to Nixter? That is a good question. Nixter hasn't been in here for a while. There you go, Pitts. Could Dak land in San Fran? Uh, it's pretty damn unlikely, but I wouldn't entirely rule it out. I honestly don't love that scheme fit. Like, oh geez, that was dumb. That was really dumb. I thought Pitts, I thought Pitts was gonna run the out route there, and he just stood there. It's the problem with option routes in this game. Sometimes you think they're doing one thing and they do the other. I feel like that's not maximizing on Dak Prescott's skill set, right? Because Dak is really good at like processing coverages, getting through his reads, but the. The biggest trait for a quarterback in the Shanahan offense is arm talent and vertical accuracy. And they scheme things up to make things easier on the quarterback. So I don't exactly panda. In that scheme, I don't think he's that big of an upgrade to Jimmy Garoppolo. Because physically speaking, he's very comparable. So... And I think Shanahan probably knows that. Ooh. Not bad for a running back. All right, we need to stop, D. Get him. Ah. Not bad for a running back. Not bad for a running back. Man. Punjay, I'm not going to answer that right now, but I've thought about doing a uh, best landing spots video for the draft, so keep an eye out for that on, on the YouTube. Drop it. Oh. Oh, that's a false start. All 
That was big time, actually. All right, we're going to get a spy here. There we go. Great defense. Okay, we need to institute a comeback here. Oh, they ended up not getting it there. Went for it or missed the field goal or something. Oh, Pitts. Just keep putting it up for him. No, that's not grounding. I guess it really is grounding. I want him to throw it out the back of the end zone. Damn. Ravens defense stepping up. At least our defense is playing well. That's right, Y5. Playoffs are never easy. Neither is repeating a Super Bowl, but we're going to do it anyway. Try to swat it back inbounds. PFF is constant, constantly hyping up Pitts to San Francisco. What do I think about that? I mean, that'd be unbelievable. Oh, Henderson. No, you're going the wrong way. I think that that'd be an uncoverable... I don't even think it would matter who the quarter... Like, Nick Mullins could lead the best offense in the NFL if, that, if they had got Kyle Pitts. Come on. Squeeze that down. All right. Good play. Why do I think Derwin is so good even though he hasn't played in two years? Well, injuries are an unfortunate thing, but when he's on the field, he's quite possibly the best safety in the NFL. All right, Pitts, I see you. Who do I think starts at QB for Washington? Honestly, I'm going to go with Taylor Heineke. I don't know if they're going to find a better option. I appreciate you saying that, Ready Bloom. Tua's kind of looked exactly like I thought he would. Just not necessarily bad, but just doesn't really have transcendent traits. And his team at Alabama made him look a hell of a lot better than he actually was. What happened there? Did we turn the ball over again? What are we doing? At least the defense is playing today. In a redraft, would I take two in the first 20 picks? Uh, probably. Oh, my God. What a play. Wow, we got a turnover. Defense wants this today. Offense does not.
There we go. Tie game. Get him. Good day. Which QB in this draft is most likely to prove me wrong? Well, if I knew the answer to that, then I wouldn't... <laughs> if I knew the answer to that, then I wouldn't be proved wrong. The thing is, like... Yeah, I have Fields and Lance as QB 3 and 4, but it's not like I think they can't be good, you know? So if they turn out to be good players, are they proving me wrong or are they proving me right, you know? But I think where I could be proved wrong is if Zach Wilson isn't good. Would probably be an unfortunate outcome there. All right, let's see what happens. All right, we got the ball back. We're going to take over here. Oh, what? Why did that get thrown so short? We might get bailed out with a rough in the passer call here, though. He threw that way too short. I was trying to throw the corner out. Wow, what a bailout. Unbelievable. Whew. Sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. Diami. Go get it. Oh man, Marlon Humphrey doing his thing. Oh! <laughs> Pitts. What? Alright, Pitts. That was nuts. Clock run a little bit. Great run. Oh, Lawrence easily highest upside. There's no doubt. Upside's upside. The dude's just a got all the traits. Oh! Trey Lance, that is why you are a defending MVP. What a play. About to get sacked. What a play, what a throw. Man, this game is too much. All right, we're gonna hop in. This 
sack. Let's go. I don't know why I called a timeout, but whatever. They got all their timeouts anyway. Nice. Fourth down, what are they gonna do? You think they can make this kick? Let's call a timeout just in case they do. Thanks for the tip, TLF. All right, it's Justin Tucker. He's, he's good as gold from here. Good as Robbie gold. We do have a little bit of time though. Man, I was hoping we were gonna, I don't know why I thought we could, but I was hoping we could fly through this game to save a little bit of time, because it's starting to get a little too late now. Especially if this goes to overtime, but no overtime. We are gonna pull this off. And that is how, oh my God. Can we make this kick 43 yards? They don't seem to think we can. We got a flood concept. Um, I'll do a shot of espresso. Thank you. Get out of, what, what are we doing? I'm so lucky that wasn't picked off. You could have so easily caught that and got out of bounds. Good comp for Kenneth Gainwell. Uh, I don't know, who do I have on my draft board for him? <sighs> Overtime it is. Come on, give me the ball. This Ravens team has given us fits. Yeah, we got the toss. Gotta love throwing the ball away, by the way, with one second left. That is, uh, or with no time left. That is great clock management by TFG right there. All right, we got this. We got this. This is probably the best team we'll play in the playoffs. So hopefully we can coast through this a little bit quicker after this. <laughs> oh man, we almost just ended it right there. Pitts just doing Pitts things. Oh, Pitts is in the zone now. This is this game is over. End this game right now. It doesn't get any easier than this. <laughs> nice try. See you later. See ya. Thank you. Okay, appreciate it, baby. Man, that was that was tight. Hopefully that's the hardest victory we have. Do I have any opinions about NFL overtime rules? Yeah, just a couple. Ooh, Greedy Williams goes down. That means it's time for Metcalf to step up. 
Leo Metcalf, who returned a punt for a touchdown earlier. At least do the Dolphins for a Twitch stream. I can't do every team, man. Oh, we got to play the Chiefs now. <laughs> that is too hot right now. All right. Wish me luck. That's right. To be the best, you got to beat the best. Oh boy, that's Chris Jones doing his thing. Jeez, he threw it into the first row. Oh, we missed the kick. That's not good. Oh man, Mahomes. Can Heineke be a capable starting QB? I think he can. Hey, that was Dax Milne. Oh boy. Not a great start, chat. Good play. Fadakasi. Ooh, Bud Dupree. Hey, Mahomes missing a throw, okay. Good stop. Let me get in here. Third and seven. Oh, come on, Trey Lance. You gotta be kidding me. That is an, a great way to lose against the Chiefs. To miss Kyle Pitts on a freaking crosser against a zero blitz. Come on. What are we doing? Now we're out here leaning on our defense. Screen. There you go. Oh, get him. Time out. We need to score here before half. Good play, Fadakasi. Yeah, that 40, the news about the 40 times big for Bateman. I don't know how, how accurate that is. I, I doubt he ran a true 4 3, but anything with 4 4s is still damn good for him. 
Oh my god. Frickin' Mahomes, dude. What a throw. Alright, we need points here. Come on. Yikes. Get out there, Henderson. Oh my goodness. God, these guys are just making incredible plays. Mahomes throwing dimes. Tyree Kill with toe drag. Chris Jones swatting. First downs down. Nice play. Don't need to. F That's actually better that we did a false start there. Although we get the clock run off. Chris Jones again. Man, three sacks in the first half. This game has been the definition of big time plays. Big time players make the big time plays. Oh my god, what? I don't think we can get a playoff. All right, second half, got to have it. Looking drive so far. Oh, God, Willie Gay. Crazy good coverage. That was third down, too. That was just a bad play by me. We got nothing. This Chiefs defense is just ending it, man. This is fourth down. Ooh. Okay, Diami Brown. I'm gonna just play offense the rest of the game, see what happens. But not looking too good, guys. Looking like we're not going to end on a super positive note. Oh, pits fell down. It didn't matter. Oh, pfft. that was the right read, too. How do you do the playmaker? You just flick the right stick and it'll grab the closest receiver and uh, go in the direction you're flicking it. All right, Darden. Nice play. All right, let's see if we get a stop. Oh, did we get the onside kick? I think we got the onside kick, okay. Make it interesting at least. Probably should have just ran out of bounds there. Just a humble bounty hunter, man. Let's 
Then another roughing call? No, holding. <laughs> of course. Of course that works. Because why not? Oh. I saw that late. Started bailing from the pocket. Mahomes is already celebrating. That's never good. Oh, I tried to pump fake. All right, GG's everyone. I tried to pump fake B and create the opening on the outside, but all right, wasn't meant to be. We It was a pretty down season, but we got our Super Bowl in, man. We got our Super Bowl in. It was still a fun season. We had some great moments, so not the ending we necessarily wanted, but was still a ton of fun. I want to thank everyone for tuning in for the stream. Shout out to TFGF for joining us for a unique, fun stream. And uh, we'll be throwing in a new rebuild here um, soon. You know, want to mix in some NCAA at some point, but uh, probably going to be running a poll between the Jets and the Broncos for our next rebuild. That'll be on my Twitter, at TFGPlays. That's at TFG plays on Twitter if you want to have a have a say in what the next rebuild here will be. And we'll see you guys for that. Make sure you watch the whole series up on TFG plays. And we're out of here. Thank you for watching. Peace.